Well, there's no racing this week. As I mentioned before, I'm in the throes of renovating Mount Western Raceway. Have a look at my Insta and also uh, Facebook and you'll see a couple of images and a very short video of where I'm up to. I will be finished by the end of this week and racing will commence next Monday. So I can't wait for that. In the meantime, we have an unboxing. This is from Dwarf Garami Racing out of the States. I've opened it up. I have no idea what's in here. So what I'm gonna do is take the contents out, lay it out on the table and let's have a look. So there's the contents of the box that Michael from Dwarf Garami has sent through to Australia. I think this is his second or third uh, unboxing on the track. And he has had some great success racing with some of his vehicles. And uh, I'm seeing some stuff here I've never seen before. Definitely know the eight crate. It looks like he's got a couple more six wheelers and that I don't know what it is. But these ones here are very interesting. Uh, let's have a closer look at these. This first one here is called Street Show, oops, sorry. Street Show Motto. So it's obviously um, a bike. And I've never raced these on the track, so it'll be very interesting to see how they go. It's very light. Um, it's sort of longish. You guys probably have probably seen these in the States. I haven't really seen these in Australia. Or if I have, I've never sort of uh, stopped and checked them out. But uh, I'll definitely give that a crack and see if it races. Now, if this races, this will go on hot rods. I don't see why not. I never said, uh, sorry, my dogs are barking. Uh, I've never said that uh, you're only limited to, you know, cars. I mean, we won't, we won't put trucks on the track, but sure, see what happens. I'll speak with Michael and see what he wants to do in regards to those. First of all, they have to get around the track. If they don't get around the track, they don't race. That's uh, not just Michael, that's anyone that sends in cars. And here's the other one. This is called Otto, Otto Mix. Auto Mix. I'm not too sure how to pronounce that. I've probably stuffed it up. You guys will co correct me. Um, Atto Mix. Okay. And um, yet, yet again, another guy on a bike. 2013 Mattel, made in Malaysia, Hot Wheels. They are Hot Wheels, so there you go. Probably go really well on, on, um, on the orange track. So, very, very interesting, Michael. I'd... What's your reasoning behind this? <laughs> That's classic. Well done, mate. We'll give that a crack and see how we go. All right, next one is the eight crate. We've seen how well this races on Mount Western Raceway. Uh, Hot Wheel boys, I think was driving the eight crate and I think he had some great success. This thing is great. Uh, give it a straight line. Once it uh, gets a bit wobbly on the track though, it's game over. So the eight crate. Um, it'd be actually great to modify one of these and um, put a bit of extra weight in it and maybe some um, FTEs in it or something. I don't know, I'm not really that handy at sort of doing cars. I'm good at tracks, but not, not cars. Let's have a look at this. I think this is a Ford. 70, 73 Ford Falcon XB. 73, uh, metal chassis. Nice weight to it. Um, oh, it's got real riders. That probably won't race. Um, but we'll give it a crack. I doubt that that will get around the track. It'll probably get stuck on turn one and uh, that'll be game over for him. But uh, I do give everything a go. Everything has an even chance. This looks like an Impala. I love the Impalas. If this camera focuses, this is a 61 Impala. There you go, made in Thailand. These are almost unstoppable. I've got a red Impala floating around here somewhere that I always carry on about. Um, this, this is not a metal base. I think this is a plastic base, and I think the one I've got is metal. Um, Beautiful colour. I just I just love the shape of these. Uh, they've done a great job, Hot Wheels, in uh, replicating these to race. Looks like a caddy, a Cadillac. How big is he next to the Impala? Oh, same same length. It's like a caddy. Um, I think that says a '57 Caddy, El Dorado. So uh, made in Malaysia. Um, 
He's going to go all right on the track. I think he will. Um, beautiful. Police. <laughs> That's great. Beautiful decals on it, isn't it? Look at that sticking out the front. That's a ripper. Never seen that before. Never seen it. Malaysia? Is that what I said? Yeah. Nice one, mate. Beautiful collection of cars. And what have we got over here? Let's go to the six wheelers. Um, Dwarf Garami Racing had huge success with that six wheeler. Uh, I thought that was just going to wipe out the competition. Um, but the six wheelers, they do need a straight line. Uh, some of the other cars don't need straight lines. They can sort of, you know, hit the sidewall and recover. The six wheelers tend to struggle. This is called Fast Fortress. Made in Malaysia, 2007. Um, I don't know anything about these. There's an aeroplane on top. I know nothing about these. Never seen them ever uh, in Australia. So let's hope you have great success with this one. And ob obviously, there's also another six wheeler. Um, sort of gunmetal green. Um, have a look at them here if the camera will focus. Very nice. Very nice collection. And of course that is a fast fortress as well, yes, that's what I said. Um, tiny wheels, tiny, tiny wheels. So it would be very interesting to see how that goes, Michael, with Dwarf Karami Racing. Now this one here, I don't know, I want to say it's a, uh, man, I don't know, it looks like a Mustang or something. But uh, look at the paint job on this, sort of the, the metallic red. Stunning, stunning paint job front sort of looks like a Mercedes or something. You guys would have more information than me so please if I'm saying this wrong uh, or if I'm incorrect which I obviously am a lot please correct me and uh, give us the correct information so others can benefit from it. Um, this is a 1979 it's a metal uh, metal uh, base um, wheels go very well stock standard plastic wheels and it's just no name on that Michael, have, Michael might have some more information that he could give us. So there you go. There's a quick unboxing from Michael from Dwarf Gorami Racing out of the States. He's back on the track with a new collection of cars. I can't wait to race. We have uh, a stack coming in from the States and around the world at the moment. So I need to get some kind of racing program together and... Uh, and what I'd like to do is sort of put that online so people can see uh, the cars that have come in and where they might be racing down the track, you know, whether it's next week or the next three months. Um, I may even have to change the format a bit because there are so many cars coming in, uh, in particular for hot rods. I think right now I must be at 100 and, oh, about 150 cars. So I'm not too sure what I'm going to do um, with the racing so everyone gets a, a crack at uh, racing on the track. I might, I don't know, I'm, I've been toying with the idea of um, uh, doing two heats on a Monday and then the winners out of those two heats, you know, race off together against uh, the current club champion. I don't know, I've yet to formulise this idea and see if it will work. Um, and also I have uh, the custom starting up in June so you know, doing three races a week is a hell of a lot of work. Uh, each race takes about five hours to edit, and uh, I do have a day job and all of that. So anyway, thanks again to Michael from Dwarf, Dwarf Garami Racing, sorry. I really appreciate this, mate. This is a wonderful collection of cars that we will see on the track very soon. And uh, until then, guys, happy racing. And don't forget, next Monday, we're back racing. The Perganator, I'll have a little lad that comes up with who he's racing with for next Monday night. Catch you later.